Jubilee is freedom. Freedom from sin and freedom from Satan. The age of Jubilee in the Old Testament was a year ordained by God to restore the children of Israel back to their uh, allotted portion of the good land. And now in the New Testament, the, the uh, age of Jubilee is just the, the reality of the age of the Jubilee is the New Testament age of grace. When the Israelites came out of Egypt, out of bondage, out of slavery, they came to the good land. Brought, God brought them into the good land. And um, after a while, they started to be lazy and they, they sold their land. And eventually they sold themselves back into slavery. And the way that, uh, that they reconciled this land back was God, every 50 years, God would um, restore their land and themselves back to their families. So in the good land, everyone had their portion, and every seven years was a Sabbath year, where no, they wouldn't reap, harvest, or sow their land, and God would provide them with everything they needed. And eventually, some of the, some of the children of Israel would sell their land and sell themselves eventually into slavery, and every 50 years would be the year of Jubilee, where God would give them their, their land back the land that they were, they had the right to, they were qualified to. And it was a time of rejoicing. And in the New Testament, we are a portion. We have this portion of God. And we are restored every day, every time that we find ourselves holding slave. We're slaves to sin, bonded by sin, and it's captured by Satan. And we can enjoy this jubilee which is just rejoicing in the Lord. Definition to Jubilee, and that's to rejoice, or to be in joy, pretty much. And so that's what Jubilee is. And really, the whole point of this is that we need to learn to live it. You know, you gotta live it. So the point of Jubilee is just really rejoice in it. In Luke 4, uh, we see Jesus was speaking in the synagogues on the Sabbath day. And he was speaking from a scroll uh, from Isaiah that uh, showed what the year of Jubilee was. And after he was done reading the scroll, he, sa he said that the reality of the Jubilee is now. He said that on that day, the, ju the reality of the Jubilee had begun. Today, Jesus is the Jubilee. And just like in the Old Testament, in the year of Jubilee, now we can be freed from all forms of slavery and bondage and we can be restored to our allotted portion, which is Christ. When we were born into this world, when God created us, we were free of sin until Satan corrupted us. And since then, since the fall of Adam, we've been plagued with this sin. No rest, we have been enslaved to Satan. We have been in bondage. But the Lord Jesus announced in Luke when he came, he offered the Jubilee, which was freedom from oppression, freedom from bondage, and freedom from slavery. And this is what Jubilee is. It's our freedom from sin, from the world, from Satan, and we can focus ourselves to God's original plan, and that's the Lord Jesus, and to Him. We turn to the Lord, and that's where our freedom lies. So real freedom is also having God return to us as our possession, that, that we can have God as our possession, and that we're, we're returned to God. You know, sometimes you try to control people, places, and things in your life. You know, you have a plan on how you want your day to go, and, um, you know, it doesn't go the way you want it to, and you become anxious, become frustrated, sometimes even angry. But, you know, I've realized that without God in my life, you know, I can't control anything. I, I'm useless without God. Um, all that frustration is because I'm in self-will and I'm self-will run riot and uh, I need to be in God's will and I cannot be happy unless I'm enjoying God in the full Jubilee um, I'm enjoy enjoying God in his fullness whenever we turn to Christ we get restored back to him now that we have the Jubilee God has returned to us as our portion as our possession and we can enjoy him as our rest and our satisfaction